trying to solve a dish problem at my buddy's with just the limited tools I have. So I've made a triangle of paper. And you notice that the paper touches the frame. And so I, I shortened it a little too much when I folded the back side. But regardless, as long as we hit this flat spot on the chain stay, about the same place, and then measure over here. Pardon the shakiness, I'm doing my best for you. No edits, this will be raw. It's echoes in here. Thanks for putting up with me. But right there you'll see, it doesn't touch, it's got about a millimeter of space. And so I would say it had a millimeter of touch and a millimeter of gap. So I'm going to tighten the spokes on the gap side, which usually means you want to lead by loosening the spokes on the touching side. So I want to figure out which way the nut screws onto this bolt, because this is simply a bolt screwing into a nut that has a T-head inside of a channel. And we want to lefty loosey the drive side on this bike and righty tighty the non-drive side to pull it towards the non-drive side and thus get a better riding experience. So just take your time. And we're going to work from the top, if that's more comfortable, or the bottom, but you'll have to think of it as a bolt being driven in this way. And so to tighten would be to turn this way with your spoke wrench and to loosen that way. So it's kind of tricky to get your mind wrapped around the first couple times. Just double check yourself. Do one whole side all at once, a loosening stroke, and then one whole side for the tightening stroke, the full circumference. Now, if your spokes are already loose, you can do a squeeze test. And if you don't have a tensiometer, I recommend it for new people at this. If it's too squeezy, and remember your drive side is gonna be a lot tighter because of the dish, uh, and so this non-drive side will always be squishier, or else it'll be really out of tune. Um, so we wanna loosen and then tighten if you think the drive side is tight enough. So squeeze there. If they don't really move, it's tight enough. If it's got a lot of slack, then we will just tighten the side that needs pulled and leave the other side alone, and then do your standard one, two, three knockout. So the one was to check your dish. We just did that. The two is to check your up and down, and you want to do that with the tire off or with some kind of a reference point right at the edge of the rim that you can see, like this neat little jig that we have again. And if it's got any wobble, again, having a stand to do this will really improve your results. However, you want to take out any up and down motion because that will throw you as you go and you'll lose a lot of energy and you can wreck your rim real quick. So the third one is just balancing back and forth so you don't have any wobble. And then you always check each one again. Finish with my truing and then ride that bike. Best to you. Hope that helped. Have a great day.